Hi, I'm Jarlo. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius, all aspects from the 1st up until including the 15th of February 2021. And also, if you're a cross watcher for Aquarius, this could also be for you. Use this as a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. Again, if you want to have more specific information, look at getting a personalised reading. And again, don't live your life by these readings. Make sure that you are using discernment and trusting your gut instinct always. Let's take a look. Aquarius, 1st the 15th of February 2021. Let's see what the theme is. Theme, please, spirit. Aquarius is theme from the 1st. Healing, temperance. Bottom of the deck, the hanged man. Reconciliation on pause. Healing on pause. An amalgamation of efforts on pause. There's a, a pause for reflection, a pause to gather more information perhaps. Let's take a look. Let's see what the tarot is going to tell us. Aquarius is reading spirit. interesting the way i've just heard that is the big reveal but we've got the nine of cups in reverse so possibly what someone wanted is maybe not what they want and there's an, a revelation towards that it's burdening this person so maybe they've discovered that what they wanted they can't have or what they wanted isn't real temperance looking to resolve a situation or healing on hold and maybe that's why they can't resolve the healing because they've discovered the truth perhaps They've discovered something that isn't quite right and it's burdening this person. So there's a burden based on the truth and that because, again, we've got the Justice card here and the star. So there could be a reveal of sorts here that is creating a burden, an information point that's creating someone's having to put everything on hold. Um, something is going to have to wait for the future here based on some new information that has been presented. So again, reconciliation moving forward. We've got temperance again and we've got the ten of swords. So what was possibly being offered at one point is having to be turned down. Um, again, could be that someone doesn't want to make a, a quick decision. So they're trying to bide their time. Maybe they're sort of seeing if it's going to be a long term situation. The other possibility could be that someone's trying to get a balanced perspective and they're trying to get uh, an awareness a clarity before they make a decision here it could be that they don't want to jump into something that isn't healthy so they're trying to put you know bide their time basically but something isn't quite over someone's trying to work on something that is away from this other situation that they're having to put on hold that they're going to put or reinvest somewhere else um, because they think that that's the right thing to do they think that that is what they should be doing all right it's misguided right so and they're, they're defending their point on that that it's almost like if this is a commitment someone's trying to put them the effort in um yeah they're reinvesting they're trying to put again they're trying to put the best foot forward here trying to start things afresh trying to start things anew here for the fact that you know they say they've tried then there's no one at fault right if they say they've tried then they feel like they've you know responsible for the outcome if they don't try there's a collective or an energy here that feels like it's propelling this person to make these decisions as opposed to their own choices but the decision is is that they feel like they have to do something there's an obligation here so well, rather than their own needs, their own needs are being placed on hold. It's like they're reconciling, but where they're reconciling with what they think they should do rather than what they want to do is how I'm hearing it. They want to try and move on to a situation or to resolve a situation that is long term. And I feel like it, it links to a karmic situation that was fairly cold, which is causing them confusion but it's almost like they're doing it to keep the peace at this point in time. But they're also very confused about 
how to handle this because they know that this is not really what they want they know that this is on its way out and it's kind of like they're putting off the inevitable but they don't quite know another way of dealing with this for the time being they're reinvesting in it though they're having to close down this defensive energy um, that they were in around this person because it's causing more issues and it's also creating a bit of a, a kind of more issues around them basically it's creating more issues which is not helping anyone they are trying to reinvest in a commitment that they're in because i'm hearing it's the right thing to do for them they think that's the right way of going about it they think that by reinvesting that it will make things easier for them um So they're, they're trying to reinvest in building back this kind of longer term commitment because they think that's the right thing to do. They think that that's something they should be doing. Um, they're trying to avoid that actually their happiness is somewhere else. They're trying not to acknowledge that because at the moment it's harder for them to stay in the situation. It's actually easier for them to stay in the situation even though it's not good. But they're looking at it logically. They're looking at it in a logical manner. They're not putting their emotions into it basically um this is a disempowered energy here that is trying to look to get out of it but they're, they're utilizing the easiest way that they know how which is to go within and to disconnect from other things because it's called been causing them more issues to sort of do it another way they also know that if they continue the way they have been there's going to be probably a bit of disruption that they don't want to do they don't want to deal with that they know in the future they want to leave but at the moment they're trying to bide their time they're not making any swift movements um they also there's something about a waiting point that they're not either they're not seeing something or they're waiting to see something or there's some untruth that they can't quite understand They're trying to figure out what this disillusioned energy is so that they can take action on it. They're waiting and biding their time to see the truth because at the moment they're, they're too confused to move as well. Because I think when they've moved before, it's created more problems. Um, but because of the way that they're processing this, it's causing even further confusion because actually by waiting, they're staying in an environment that doesn't suit them which is where they're disconnected from their truth which is causing even more confusion um they're trying to emotionally disconnect enough from the situation they're in to then be able to leave but it's like the more they do that but it's a, creating a bit of a vicious cycle if i'm honest with you yeah which is causing more burdens which is then causing them to want to leave so it's like in their mind they think the easiest way is to stay and process it but actually the, the, to stay it's causing more confusion because they know they shouldn't be staying they know they should be leaving so they're at odds with each other which is where you've got the hanged man the temperance it's like they can't decide on a course of action here because it's everything is not sitting right with them they also don't want to jump into a situation that is not long term just for the sake of it so they're worried about their divine counterpart if they move from the karmic situation to the divine counterpart then they're worried about making the wrong decision so because of this disillusionment they're in it's cranked doubt and that doubt because they know it's not right to stay there is then cranked doubt within everything within the situation they're wanting to go into or they think they want to go into everything is creating more doubt and that doubt is escalating the longer they stay it's also undermining their confidence in them which is making it harder for them to see what they really want which is why they're holding on to it because it's like they can't get any solid footing um they want to take action though they do want to take action because they know they're not happy but it's like they're in a honestly this looks like they're in a whirlpool like when it's like someone's going down a sinkhole it looks like they're caught up in this energy that is out of their control it's interesting um they also they do want to leave they, they are going to want to leave 
um but at what cost is what my guides are saying they want to try and break away and move quickly towards their healing and, and their decision because they know that they're biding time they know that by doing this it's like they're just biding their time to you know because it's it, the staying there is what's causing the confusion because they know they shouldn't be there but they know that they're not strong enough to leave so by staying they're thinking that they're going to get sort of cover ground and get an idea but by staying they're also confusing themselves because it's undermining their confidence so they're in a cycle they're in a loop they're in a vicious cycle at the moment Where did that card go? One sec. Yeah, this is interesting. They have a choice that they are needing to make, which they're putting off. They're putting the whole choice off. They're biding their time because they know it's Hmm. Let's see what else we can figure out here. Do you know what's really interesting? Both parties have a secret. They both have a secret. Let's see. Both these karmic partners have a secret here that they're not. They're both holding on to third parties. They're both not saying to anything to each other. They're both holding on. They're, it's like their uncertainty is what's keeping them together. Because that's the only... Th it's bizarre. It's like this... They're, they're both trying to figure out what they want. But they're, they're both not willing to let each other go to heal. Um, which is what's creating even more confusion. Which is what's making them doubt what they want to do which is then keeping them in a situation, which is then, again, we're in this loop, but they're both in it. There's no healing happening here. It's like they're, they're, they're just, how do I explain it? It's like, they're going through the motions. They're, they're not making any decisions or clear direction. They're just going through the motions. bizarre if i'm totally honest with you right let's like what yeah so let's see what else we can figure out here what is happening here for aquarius from the first to the 15th of february 2021 what else is happening for aquarius this place addict helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior this is an addictive pattern they're in and we've got great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of something or someone. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring in your life. They're both addicted to their pain. They're both sabotaging their happiness by staying in a toxic situation. And so they're both not willing to break out of that, which is why this masculine is not ready. Because they're not willing to heal. They're not willing to do the work. They're just, they're just staying in the situation they're in, which means they're definitely not ready for moving on. You know, because they don't see it. They're not. They're not getting it. You know. Yeah, freeing yourself and others from outdated beliefs, releasing negative patterns. They're not. Do <laughs> they're not doing that. Their their negative patterns are this the glue that binds them almost. You know, that's how I'm seeing it anyway. Right. Let's see what else we can figure out here. What else can you tell us, Spirit? What else can you tell us? And by the way, happy birthday, Aquarius. We've got divine masculine and fertility. The free, and this is in the reverse. The frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us bring our dreams and ideas into form with the kindness and wisdom. They're not they're not empowering themselves, which is why this is paused. Um, the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. This is a wound, a masculine wound that is causing a block. 
they're not empowered enough and that's because their masculine energy is being overwhelmed and so they're staying in negative patterns of behavior um let's see what else we can see here right what else is happening please for So we've got soulmate in the reverse and then enlightenment. So this is going to take them very clear. I mean, look, it's almost going to highlight the complete ridiculousness of their connection. But I think it's done deliberately because they've it's like trauma bo bonding, isn't it? When you're in a karmic situation and so you're bonding over trauma. So I think it's going to show them that because at the moment they're bonding in the wrong way. They're bonding over trauma as opposed to something else which is going to become more and more obvious as the, the first part of February goes on, which is going to allow them, because I think at the moment they're like, oh, well, you know, this is a relationship, let's honour it. But they don't see it as being a toxic relationship, whereas this is going to become very, very obviously toxic because of it's outdated. It's like they're, it's not helpful, you know. So let's have a look. What else can you tell us, please? First to the 15th. in a trust and then against the grain so there's something in this this masculine energy that is doubting themselves to empower themselves and liberate themselves which is keeping them trapped in an old situation because it's a lower vibrational frequency it's fear right so they don't want to go against the grain they don't want to question anything that goes against that because to them it feels like it's a vulnerability or a risk and they're not prepared to take that which is why they're staying where they are which is part of their lesson. It's part of what they need to learn. Okay, what else can you tell us? February. choice and detachment so they're they're having to make a decision to detach from this and at the moment they're not right there's a restlessness but they haven't quite figured out what they need to in order to disconnect it this is the karmic relationship i'm looking at because it is karmic and they're staying in an old pattern that is going to be easier for them to handle because yeah We've also got revenge and seduction in the reverse. So it's this bitterness. It's like they're trying to hold on to that so that it's a defense thing. They don't want to let it go. It's like they're doing, there's a deliberate action on this part as well, where they're deliberately, one of part, possibly the, the female karmic, is not saying too much in in order to keep hold of this person's attention almost and deliberately restricting them from moving on because it means then that they have to bide their time um there's definitely a, a kind of block around this karmic energy i'm looking at here there's also an escape here someone's trying to re bide their time to create something new and someone wants to try and escape that um and i think it's to block an affair i think someone one of them knows that the other one wants to leave and so they're deliberately digging their heels in to cause some issues basically because it, again it's easier for this person um but again it's i don't think one of them is overlooking that because i think they want to see the best in this person here but there's definitely a, an ego element to this where one of them is trying to keep hold of this person um, to block what else they have going on with possibly a divine partnership here. Let's see what else we can figure out. Yeah, so someone's trying to keep hold of this other person for the wrong reasons. Let's see. Let's see what the outcome will be. Let's see the outcome here. Spirit.
what is the outcome please what is the outcome mm. there's a disconnect someone is looking at the situation very logically and they're realizing all is not as it seems they're going to want to disconnect from this situation based on this energy that i'm reading and go towards what they know is actually going to provide them with the real energy it's like they're biding their time here with this energy they're processing um and what they're going to be learning is going to help them move on you've got the problem that it is is you've got one party that's trying to block that and the other one that's trying to move on so they're at odds basically hence the temperance and hanged man it's like th there's no healing that can go on this there's a female karmic that's not letting go the masculine wants to move on but knows that he can't because the female karmic doesn't want to but the female karmic's deliberately holding on because she knows that she doesn't want to let go so let's see what is the outcome um so at the moment this person's looking towards the future to make a decision here about again what they want let's see first the 15th what is the outcome we've got temperance and a burden so again it's going to be very difficult someone's going to again some of you are going to want they're going to want to move on with someone new the other ones are going to stay in the karmic situation until it's resolved let's see if we can pick another deck and see let's see what the outcome is what is the outcome here spirit what is the outcome spirit there's a tower moment that's coming in the outcome is that i think it's going to be very clear what exactly people should and shouldn't be holding on to one choice will be held on to the other one will be let go of but your problem with it is, is you've got one karmic the female that's blocking this other person moving on and i think that is highlighted as the sort of second week progresses yeah someone's trying to put energy into resolving this what is the outcome here there's a defensiveness about someone getting back together so again it's it, you've got a masculine karmic that wants to just move on and a female karmic that is trying to block it and looks like it's going to be successful now the energy has to be worked through basically but that's what i'm saying i don't see someone reconciling there's no yeah look strength because they can't move forward someone's being blocked to move forward now what else can you tell me here spirit they're going to have to acknowledge the situation for what it is and the actual fact that this is something has to give right and it's going to have to be acknowledged at some point and at the moment it probably hasn't been but right what is the clarify the outcome here what is the outcome so we've got the wheel of fortune so there's definitely going to be a reconciliation either with a karmic situation or a divine counterpart situation either way it's either the karmic situation hasn't resolved yet which is why there's a reconciliation or for some of you it will be reconciliation with a divine counterpart or for some of you you know it depends who's watching this but there's a reconciliation either you or them if that makes sense someone's reconciling if you're watching and you're a cross watcher again everyone it's going to be a different outcome for some of you watching it's a reconciliation that they'll be going back to their karmic for some of you watching it will be a reconciliation with you or their divine counterpart if that makes any sense Anyway, that was your reading for Aquarius. Hopefully that's been of some help. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Until next time, take care.